It's Monday, I discovered a shortcut through the water mill. I just arrived back on the land, and at the usual place where I find my loot, I found a fishing rod and <laughs> a dog mask. Well, I can see the beans are already trying to grow here. They're popping out of their little caps. And even these peas are, <laughs> maybe they should be planted deeper. I don't know, but it's funny to see. The cucumbers are breaking out, nothing else. Thai basil, summer savory, and chamomile are all out. The anise finally popped out for the first time. And four of the five watermelon are out. So almost all of the tomatillos, these are the sweet mammoth peas. Most of them are out. And two of the four tomatoes. Here I've got contaminated grain spawn. I'm going to see if it's at all possible to sterilize the spoon and do some surgery on it to remove it. Done. See if it recovers. I wouldn't be surprised though if I let some new contamination in. Oh well, would have been a goner anyways. So it's May 7th and it's time I move the tent outdoors. Make use of this space for something else. My second task today was to move the tent out from the greenhouse onto these pallets. And so this will be the first night I'll be sleeping among the wild strawberries. This is what the greenhouse has become without the tent. A lot more spacious. And one of the tasks will now, will now be to do the same thing to this wall as I did everywhere else so that I could even grow some herbs here instead of weeds. Remove this log from here and you can see the path the mole made as it went underneath and weaved through the ground because there's worms here and the moles eat those and so I'm noticing throughout the year when planting things in that there's a lot of holes here. There's been a lot of moles going through. <laughs> So I watched a video on how in England they have this tool called a fro which can split a log like this into roof tiles. So I got a little curious and seeing what the effort was in breaking them. I broke these up and I'm going to use these as the a wall. But I, here I want to make a pathway and so I want to dig this in here so I'd have the place I could always stand in. So I dug this hole out that deep, deep enough so it shouldn't disturb the roots when I step on it. Now I have a pathway. So using the remaining pieces from the other half of that log, I was originally trying to make these so that I can finish out the rest of the greenhouse because whenever I water, it erodes the soil down. I researched how to make nettle teas. So I'm using this bucket to go gather some nettle and prepare a tea for three weeks from now. I just collected a buttload, but I keep seeing more spots and I can't help but <laughs> use it. It's growing so densely that <laughs> I'm just gonna keep grabbing it while it's good. So now that I've got my, oh, I forgot I have to take this tray out. Now I can fill this up with water, close it off somewhere and let it rot for two weeks and then I'll have compost tea. I filled it to the brim and put some rocks over it. I put it away in the corner because I hear it doesn't have a very pleasant smell. One new weed that I discovered that tastes amazing, I love, are these cleavers. Yeah, the shoots of them are like little broccoli heads. One thing I'm noticing now are the wild strawberries. Uh, some are even going to fruit already. I've come across two areas on my land. Where there's lots of these holes with a huge hole. If I had my GoPro this morning, I would have showed the progress I made. Uh, I cut all this out and I connected this between here and here. And then I flattened out some of these things here. Tomorrow I should be 
done with the leveling part. Here on my rigodas is I'm gonna try to make more of those uh, sidings. First video of the day, pretty late. I didn't have my GoPro with me, but I just gathered some dandelions with which I'm gonna make into pancakes because I've been eating too much bread and I need a change from the same old, same old. So I separated all the dandelion flowers from their heads and here's some sorrel mixed in. This is gonna be a colorful mixture. And these are all the remainders. It takes a long time, but it's pretty, so it's fun. Lately, this is my first time cooking since returning two days ago. But when I do cook, I try to make it yummy. Just added chervil, now adding onion. A little burnt, but we're coming along. First licorice sprout sprouted yesterday, and as of yesterday, this bean is also sprouting. So yesterday I finished the ring. All that's left today is to uh, cut down any branches that would get in the way of cars or big trucks coming in, and to uh, get rid of these guys. It's the driveway after digging and leveling it out. Here, I was able to bend this birch back and tie it to this oak. <laughs> it makes a really nice gateway. One of the things I'm doing to try to make my fruit trees grow better is putting cardboard underneath them to drown the weeds out. I uncover the wood chips, cut a little hole out, push it down, and then cover it back up with wood chips. And basically I have to do this once a year because the this is the cardboard from last year. That's what happens to it. There's so many grasses, I can just... I didn't bother taking off the wood chips for this. I can just mulch like that. And I'll be curious to see how that all dries down. A greenhouse update. I finally got brought the pliers along. And I forced these in so that it'd be more stable and I wouldn't have to worry about it falling out. And in here I stuck the most well-grown thing out of all of my seed blocks. Like there's a watermelon, a lemon cucumber, a pea, a chamomile, a winter savory, and then these are two, th these two things, Sinisteria and something else. In terms of the seeds I got from France, I haven't had anything from those sprout yet. So we'll just wait and see, it's too early to say. So I'm having trouble getting started with are echinaceas and rosemary. I didn't surface sow that rosemary, however I planted rosemary in this and I'm still not seeing anything. Plants that I'm really excited that finally sprouted after some after the third try. The salvia, catnip, bergamot, and last year I tried licorice and failed. And also the anise. Yesterday I dug out 15 holes and today I've got 15 cherry trees. And so I'm going to add some compost all over all of them 
They're scattered all over the place. The next one is here. There's another one there. Also got two aronias, which I'm taking the berries off, so the energy goes towards the roots. Three currants and a pudin and two uh, hawthorns. So I got like 20 plants today.